You're watching Ride Ready Reviews, your mission hub for the machines of tomorrow. Today you're about to witness one of the most chilling evolutions in aerial warfare, something that looks like it came out of a sci-fi battlefield but is being developed in the real world. It's called the SS UAV, and it could change the way wars are fought forever. Imagine a massive flying machine gliding silently above enemy territory. But this is no ordinary aircraft. It's a mother of machines, a silent carrier of destruction. And it doesn't just drop bombs, it gives birth to them. Thousands of autonomous drones deployed mid-air, forming a synchronized swarm. No pilots, no mercy just coded objectives and ruthless precision. Welcome to the age of swarm warfare. Developed as part of China's ambitious UAV programs, the SS UAV is a flying fortress with one purpose, unleash dominance from the skies. Equipped with internal drone bays, smart launch modules, and potentially AI integrated swarm control systems, this vehicle is not just a UAV, it's a hive. The design appears to draw inspiration from science fiction, but the technology is becoming very real, very fast. With no cockpit, this drone mothership is fully unmanned and likely controlled remotely or autonomously. It stays above radar zones, avoiding detection, and then, at a precise moment, opens its flanks and releases a swarm of miniature drones, each programmed for specific objectives. These aren't just camera drones, each unit can carry out electronic warfare, disrupt communications, jam radar systems, or even execute kamikaze strikes on enemy installations, vehicles, or troops. And here's where it gets even more terrifying. These drones can work in coordination. They can adapt mid-mission. One gets shot down, the swarm adjusts. They're like a flock of birds with a mind of war. In modern warfare, speed, information, and control are everything. The SS UAV represents all three. It can be deployed without risking human pilots. It can fly longer than manned bombers, and it can execute missions in environments too dangerous for traditional air support. These drones can fly into bunkers, tunnels, caves, even urban centers without ever risking a single soldier's life. What's even more strategic is how it affects enemy psychology. You're not just dealing with an incoming aircraft, you're facing a cloud of intelligent machines that overwhelm your systems, your defenses, and your will to fight. They can shut down radar sites, blind your early warning systems, and attack simultaneously from dozens of angles. They don't hesitate. They don't get tired. They don't miss. China has already demonstrated growing capabilities in drone warfare. From the Wing Lung series to stealth UAVs and AI-assisted swarm demos, the SS UAV, while still conceptual in its current state, seems to be a glimpse into a near-future weapon platform that's no longer just an idea. It's a possibility under development, and its success could trigger a global arms race in swarm technology. Now let's look at the strategy behind it. Traditional warfare relies on air superiority, and air superiority relies on fast response and intelligence. The SS UAV breaks both limits. It provides real-time situational control using data relays and satellite links. And in the event of signal loss, AI protocols could allow the drones to finish their objectives autonomously. That means once launched, there's no turning back. The war doesn't wait for orders. It proceeds on code. This also opens the door to decapitation strikes, precision swarm attacks that take out enemy leadership, communication hubs, and critical infrastructure with minimal cost. And, because drones are cheaper than jets or missiles, the economics of war start to shift. Countries could fight with fewer resources, fewer troops, and more algorithms. It's war at machine speed. And here's a bigger question. What happens when this technology is exported or copied? Drone swarms are not limited to one nation. Imagine multiple countries with these systems. Or worse. What if rogue actors, militias, or even terrorist groups gain access to autonomous swarm tech? It's not just a military concern, it's a global security risk. The SS UAV is more than a project. It's a signal, a message to the world that the next generation of warfare won't be about dogfights or stealth jets. 
It will be about numbers, intelligence, and autonomy. And China seems to be preparing for that future faster than most. But it's not without challenges. Coordinating thousands of drones in real time is no small feat. You need robust AI, flawless communication links, and powerful onboard computing. Jamming resistance, anti-hacking measures, and electromagnetic protection all need to be perfected. But with rapid developments in quantum computing, 6G military-grade networks, and AI-based control systems, those hurdles may not last long. At Ride Ready Reviews, we don't just look at vehicles, we decode the future. And the SSUAV is a stark reminder that in tomorrow's war, machines won't just assist, they'll lead. The battlefield is being redefined. Airspace won't just belong to the fastest jets. It will be owned by the smartest swarms. Subscribe to Ride Ready Reviews if you want to stay ahead of the curve. From hypertech military drones to AI-powered combat systems, we bring you the future of mobility and warfare, one episode at a time. Like, share, and engage. Because the future isn't waiting, it's launching.